What's up everyone TechLoud here and this is the camera review of the iPhone 6 plus and I'm going to show you the sample photos and the videos as well but before that I want to show you the camera interface and the features available in the default camera app. Most of the camera interface remains the same however there are some subtle changes so let's discuss one by one you have the filters you can apply the filters and you can see the filters live and also you have the flash on off switch and you have the HDR mode auto on and off so the HDR auto is a new feature plus you have the timer available and also you can preview the gallery photos from here you can take the bus shots as you can see still 10 frames per second you can take the square photos and the panorama Previously these features were available. Now let's slide towards the video and video has one new feature which is the 60 frames per second video recording in 1080p. That's very nice. You can turn on this feature from the settings. And in addition to that now you have the slow motion video up to 240 frames per second instead of just 120 frames per second which is very very nice. And I will show you some of the samples and you can see yourself that it works really well and something new is available also which is called the time lapse this is also a very nice video feature time lapse is basically a compressed form of a video that basically you will take a long video and compress the time duration of uh, that video into just few seconds so basically you are actually shrinking the entire uh, minutes of videos into few second videos so shrinking the life in addition to that you can choose a separate point for the metering of the exposure other than your focus point so now you don't have to limit your uh, metering point same as focus point both can be different just like before you can uh, exposure log any point you want by long pressing that point for few seconds so now let's look at uh, some of the sample photos and the videos in daylight conditions, in night and indoors low light conditions. And let me tell you that this camera takes uh, really nice photos and it does not feel 8 megapixel camera and does not feel limited at all. It takes uh, very nice photos and it really beats the camera phones which has uh, much higher megapixel cameras and it is right up there among the best like your S5 and the Z2 and it probably beats them. We will check out in the future videos. It does focus close and you can uh, take uh, macro shots. The only complaint I have about this camera is the HDR. The HDR effects is uh, subtle. It is uh, not as uh, drastic as uh, I have seen on S5. It works but uh, it can be actually a little bit uh, more uh, bold or dynamic you can uh, check HDR effect yourself this photo is a normal photo and this is the HDR version of this photo similarly this photo is normal and this is the HDR version as I said previously you can uh, focus close and you can take macro shots for example look at the center uh, circular thing this is the closest you can go the video quality is uh, very good and the focusing is very nice no jumping around of the autofocus system and also the stabilization is very good this is uh, one of the best stabilization that I have seen in the smartphones Z2 also has a pretty good stabilization but it has the uh, focusing issues I haven't seen any focusing issues on uh, iPhone 6 plus
so let's check how quickly it can focus from close distance to far distance and as much as i can see it is working brilliantly and also the exposure is changing uh, pretty quick enough and smooth enough that's nice right now i'm in the open space and you can uh, check out the wind noise let's once again uh, quickly check out the exposure transition from a darker scene to a brighter scene So let's check out the slow motion video as well which is uh, shot at 240 frames per second and YouTube will play it in 30 frames which means it will be slowed down 8 times. Another good thing about the slow motion video is that it actually records the audio as well and playback that audio as well. This was my complaint with some of the other phones which also record the slow motion video. At night uh, low light shots outside are very nice and it takes uh, very nice photos. Noise level is pretty good and pretty well maintained. Yes you can uh, still see the noise uh, in ultra low light shots but uh, still it's much better than before and I'm pretty happy about that one. Yes, uh, the smartphones uh, will require to increase their uh, low light shots uh, quality of the photos and the videos uh, but whatever they have achieved so far is also pretty good. Yes, it does not have the manual controls of the Nokia Lumia phones but you can achieve the same thing by installing some awesome apps available in the app store such as camera plus which will give you all the manual controls the flash works well and it is powerful enough to light up a almost uh, totally dark room for example this one and i use the flash and get this photo another flash photo and you can see the color are retained pretty well let's look at the quality of the low light video both indoors and outdoors and the quality actually depends upon the light it takes if the light is ultra ultra low then obviously it will be grainy if the light is a uh, little better it will still do a pretty good job So guys I hope that you have liked the video thanks for watching and subscribe for similar sort of uh, videos the reviews the camera reviews the tech help videos the mobile reviews and all that kind of stuff and if you are interested in photography then do then do join my channel called digital image the link is in the description take care see you bye